Hello and welcome to the Money Marketing Podcast and welcome to this special series of Weekend Essay Podcasts. Join us as we delve into the personal narratives of our editorial team, exploring the intersection of life experiences and financial advice. From triumphs to setbacks, each episode offers a candid glimpse into the journeys that shape our perspectives on money management. Get ready to uncover the human side of finance as we share our stories, insights, and lessons learned along the way. Welcome to the Weekend Essays on the Money Marketing Podcast. I've been watching BBC One's The Apprentice for some time now. I wouldn't say I'm a hardcore fan, as I've not watched all waiting series stretching back to 2005. Instead, I started watching in 2008 when Lee McQueen won Series 4. Those who saw this series may remember when Lee decided to do his impression of a reverse pterodactyl during the interview stage, which usually takes place in the penultimate week. Personally, I view Lee's impersonation of the dinosaur as a classic apprentice moment, and I'm impressed that he still managed to get the job after doing it. Money marketing readers may have also watched a recent series that concluded on the 18th of April, which saw Rachel Wolford crowned as Lord Sugar's latest winner. Wolford currently owns two gyms in Leeds and Harrogate, and after receiving a £250,000 investment, she hopes open a third gym in Newcastle or Yorkshire. As a new business partner, Lord Sugar will be helping her with her decision. But although this year saw a wide range of candidates competing for a prize, from a music producer to an owner of a pie company, none of the 18 candidates were financial advisors. In fact, an advisor has never appeared on the show. The nearest link is Yasmina Zadatan, winner of the fifth series back in 2009 and now Chief Revenue Officer at Dynamic Planner, otherwise the cupboard is bare. This is a bit of a shame. I think if the advisor did step up to a plate, I believe there's a good chance they could go far. In fact, from watching the show, I feel that advisors have a lot of the skills that I needed to win. Over the years, the rules of The Apprentice have changed. Previously, the winner would go to work for Lord Sugar. Now, candidates pitch their own business plans and attempt to prove to his lordship that he should invest in their idea and come back, come in as a partner. So, an advisor who would go on the show with a pitch to expand their firm footprint with Sugar's investment while continuing to be a chartered advisor even after winning. While the focus of The Apprentice is primarily on business-related tasks, the show also provides lessons in personal finance. During the process, candidates can learn the importance of budgeting, especially in tasks where the objective is to buy a list of products for the lowest amount. This is something the advisor helps clients apply to a personal financial situation, especially during periods of uncertainty, such as a cost of living crisis. They would be an ideal fit for such a task. Additionally, candidates must navigate unexpected challenges and setbacks. This is something advisors know all about, from helping clients mitigate risks and develop contingency plans to safeguard their financial well-being. And let's not forget their high-level financial literacy, which would definitely come in handy when pitching ideas and products to high-profile companies. A strong financial knowledge would reassure any CEO that they are vesting in someone reliable. Finally, contestants of The Apprentice often need to develop business plans and strategies for their tasks. Again, some advisors are well prepared to do as they have plenty of experience in making decisions about investments and expenditures. So what are advisors waiting for? Lord Sugar has already announced he is on the lookout for candidates for the next series. So if any advisors wish to fire off an application, I would say go for it. Maybe after the next season of Apprentice, I'll be able to give a concrete example of how advisors and the show intersect. Thank you for joining us on this episode of our weekend essay series. We do hope that you enjoyed it. Please do keep up to date with all our new releases via Podbean, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere else you get your podcasts from. You can also keep up to date with all our new content published on the Money Marketing website, as well as our print edition, Money Marketing Magazine. So make sure to subscribe. Follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and threads. See you next time.